Okay, what is up there, YouTube? This is J Man Time, and today I have a video on Polish warships of World War II. Now, during the Second World War, the Polish Navy actually tried to defend Poland against the invading German army in September 1939, and later on, on September the 17th, they also tried to defend themselves against the invading Soviet army, which was invading from the east. But most historians don't really talk about Polish warships, so I'm going to go over the history of Polish warships from post-World War I up until the end of World War II. So so let's begin with the largest Polish warship on the list. And so we're going to be going from the largest Polish warships to the smallest Polish warships. And that includes the Polish warships of the Polish River Flotillas. So let's begin with the largest warship that Poland had in World War II, and that is the ORP Baltic. The ORP Baltic was a anti-aircraft protected cruiser from 1896. She was originally known as the French cruiser D'Entrecasto, which was completed in 1896. D'Entrecasto actually served in the French Navy until she was eventually sold to Poland in 1927. Between 1927 and 1932, she was converted into an anti-aircraft cruiser for the Polish Navy. Now, the Antrocasto slash ORP Baltics had a displacement of 8,123 tons. Her main armament was eight 75 millimeter model 1924 anti-aircraft guns. And she was also armed with 12 47 millimeter three pounder anti-aircraft guns. Her armor thickness was between 83 and 230 millimeters maximum. And she had a speed of 19.5 knots or 36.1 kilometers per hour or 22.4 miles per hour and she also had a crew of 521. Now, during the German invasion of Poland in September 1939, the Baltic was the largest anti-aircraft platform in Poland, and she was also the largest warship in the Polish Navy. The German Air Force, the Luftwaffe, noticed this and actually tried to sink the Baltic several times during the invasion of Poland. Ultimately, the Polish officers on board decided to abandon ship along with their fellow crewmen, and the Baltic was eventually captured by the Germans during the invasion of Poland. After her capture, the Germans actually used the Baltic as a training hulk for the occupying German army until she was eventually scrapped sometime between 1941 and 1942, thus ending the history of the largest warship to ever serve in the Polish Navy, the anti-aircraft protected cruiser ORP Baltic. Which brings us to the next class of warships, and that is the Polish destroyers of World War II, but the Polish destroyers overall. Now, the first class of Polish destroyer was the Wisher class, which were constructed between 1927 and 1932. And the Wisher class consisted of two destroyers, the Polish destroyer Wisher and the Polish destroyer Boruza, or B-U-R-Z-A. These were two destroyers that were actually constructed in France. And the Wisher class had a displacement of 1,920 tons. Their main armament was four 130 millimeter Canon model 1924 main guns. They were also armed with two 40 millimeter Wiz 28 two pounder anti aircraft guns and two triple 550 millimeter torpedo tubes. They were also armed with two 240 millimeter Dornicroft depth charge launchers for anti-submarine operations and two Wiz BH-200 depth charge launchers along with two 60 Wiz 08 naval mine launchers. These vessels had an armor thickness of about 10 millimeters of 10 to 50 millimeters maximum and they had a speed of 33.8 knots or 62.6 kilometers per hour or 38.9 miles per hour and a crew of 162. 
Now, during the invasion of Poland in September 1939, the Polish destroyer Wisher was actually sunk by German Luftwaffe aircraft while she was stationed at the naval base at Heald. Her sister ship Borosa managed to escape to the UK where she served in the Polish Navy in exile along with the British Royal Navy up until 1944 where she was finally laid up in reserve until 1945. 51, where she returned to Poland and became a Polish warship in the Polish Navy during the Cold War. Now remember, during the Cold War, Poland was actually on the side of the Soviet Union, and she stayed like this until she was eventually sometime between 1960 and 1975. Which brings us to our most famous class of Polish destroyer, that is the Grom class. These were fleet destroyers that were constructed between 1935 and 1937 in the UK. The Grom class consisted of the destroyers ORP Grom and ORP Bless Wojtkia. These two ships formed the backbone of the Polish Navy along with the Wisher class of destroyer. These ships had a displacement of 2,383 tons. Their main armament was seven 120 millimeter Bofors 34 by 36 main guns. They were also armed with four 40 millimeter Bofors anti-aircraft guns and eight French made Hotchkiss model 1929 13.2 millimeter anti-aircraft machine guns. They also had two triple 533 millimeter torpedo tubes and two Wiz BH-200 depth charge racks along with 44 naval mines. Their armor thickness is largely unknown but they had a speed of 39 knots or 72 kilometers per hour or 45 miles per hour and a crew of 192 to 200 sailors. Now these ships were the fastest ships in the Polish Navy. In fact, they were even faster than some of the smaller warships I'll be going over in the Polish Navy um, during the Second World War. Now during the German invasion of Poland in 1939, both ships actually managed to escape. The German Luftwaffe's attack on the, on the Polish naval base of Heel and they arrived in the UK to be used by the Polish Navy in exile where they actually served under a British flag. Unfortunately though, the ORP Grom was later sunk by German aircraft off the coast of Norway on the 4th of May 1940 by two 500 pound bomb hits, one of which caused her torpedo magazine to explode, causing the ship to break apart and sink. Her sister ship, Blitzwickia, survived World War II and she also participated in the Normandy invasion. After World War II, the ship was returned to Poland in 1947 and she she again served the Polish Navy up until January 1976, where she was eventually preserved as a museum ship in Ghania, where she still survives today, becoming some of the last surviving World War II vintage warships of the Polish Navy. Which brings us to the next large warship in the Polish Navy during the Second World War, and that is the ORP Graf from 1934. The Graf was a large mine layer that served in the Polish Navy. She was constructed between 1934 and 1936. Her displacement was 2,227 tons. Her displacement was 2,227 tons. She had a main armament of six 120 millimeter Bofors 34 slash 36 main guns. She also had four 40 millimeter Bofors anti-aircraft guns and four 13.2 millimeter Hotchkiss M1929 anti-aircraft guns along with two triple 533 millimeter torpedo tubes. She also had two massive mine laying racks that held upwards to 600 naval mines, plus sometimes more than 600. Her speed was 20 knots or 37 kilometers per hour or 23 miles per hour. And she had a crew of 222. The Griff was the fourth largest warship or the fourth largest class of warship in the Polish Navy, although she is just a single warship on her own. 
During the German invasion of Poland on September 1, 1939, the ORP Gref was damaged by German Luftwaffe aircraft, but she was put on a floating dock for repair. And then two days later, on the 3rd of September 1939, both the ORP Gref and her floating dry dock were attacked again. Both the ORP Gref, both the ORP Gref and her floating dry dock were sunk by German Luftwaffe aircraft while they were at the Polish naval base at Hill, thus ending the career of the ORP Gref. She was later raised during World War II and sold for scrap. Which brings us to the last class of patrol vessel of the Polish Navy of World War II, and that is the ORP Bartery. The Bartery was a armed patrol vessel that was constructed in 1932. Her displacement was 112 tons, and she had a main armament of two 7.92 millimeter Maxim MG08 machine guns. Her armor thickness was none, and she had a speed of 24.3 knots, or 40 kilometers per hour, or 28 miles per hour, and a small crew of 10. When Germany invaded Poland in 1939, the Bartory was actually used as a light anti-aircraft vessel, although her two 7.92 millimeter machine guns were pretty useless against the Luftwaffe aircraft. On, and on the 9th of September 1939, the ORP Bartory actually interned herself into Sweden. She actually sailed to Sweden, where she was eventually interned by the neutral Swedish Navy. She stayed this way until the 10th of September. September 1945 where she eventually went back to Poland today she is she, uh, today she is survived today she survives as a museum ship of the Polish Navy of the Second World War being one of the few World War II Polish warships to survive in 1974 she was actually rediscovered and refurbished and this is why she is a museum ship today Next on the list is the Polish submarines of World War II, or the Polish fleet submarines of the Second World War. Now, during World War II, the Polish Navy also had two classes of fleet submarines, and the first class of Polish submarines were the Wilk class submarine or Wilk class submarines that were constructed between 1931 and 1932. The Wilk class submarines consisted of, consisted of the Polish submarines, the ORP Risk, the ORP Wilk, and the ORP Zebik. All of these ships were constructed between 1927 and 1932 respectively. Their displacement was 980 to 1250 tons. Their main armament was 40 naval no their main armament was one 100 millimeter 3.9 inch deck guns they were also armed with six 550 millimeter 21.7 inch torpedo tubes and they also carried 40 naval mines they were also given two 13.2 millimeter hotchkiss m1929 anti-aircraft machine guns their speed was 14.5 knots or 26.9 kilometers per hour or 16.7 miles per hour and they had a crew of 54. Now during the invasion of Poland in September 1939, all three submarines were ordered to escape to one of the neutral countries. The submarine Wilk actually escaped to Britain where she served as part of the Polish Navy in exile along with the British Navy throughout World War II. She actually served served from 1940 until 1942 where she was eventually laid up for reserve. In 1951, Wilk was returned to Poland after Poland had become part of the Warsaw Pact nation. The other two submarines, the Rysk and Zybek, were interned in Poland after they escaped uh, the German Luftwaffe as, uh, after they escaped the German Luftwaffe's attack on the Polish naval base at Hill, and they remained interned in Poland until October 1945, where they were eventually returned to Poland. They served in the newly formed um, Soviet Polish Navy from 1946 until 1956, where they were eventually sold for scrap metal, thus ending the Wilk class submarine. 
The next class of Polish submarine was the Orzo class of fleet submarines that were also constructed between 1931 and 1932. And these submarines had a displacement of 1,100 to 1,473 tons. Their main armament was 12 550 millimeter 21.7 inch torpedo tubes. They were also fitted with one 105 millimeter 4 inch British made deck guns and they had a speed of 10 knots or 19 kilometers per hour or 12 miles per hour and a crew of 56. Now these, this class of submarines actually consisted of the submarines ORP Orzo and the ORP SIP. Now, during the invasion of Poland in September 1939, the ORP Orzo actually managed to escape to Great Britain and she arrived at Rosef on the, the 14th of October 1939. She actually served in the Polish Navy in exile throughout the beginning of World War II, but on the 25th of May 1940, she was actually lost in the North Sea. She could have been a victim of a British naval mine or she could have been sunk by a German naval mine. While some others theorized that she was probably spotted by the German Luftwaffe and attacked and eventually sunk by the German forces. Her sister ship, the ORP SIP, was interned in Sweden. The ship had actually escaped to Sweden during the German invasion in September 1939 and she was was interred by the neutral Swedish Navy until October 1945. In October 1945, she was actually returned to Poland, which was now part of the Warsaw Pact nations, and she served in the Soviet Polish Navy until 1967, where she was finally decommissioned and sold for scrap, ending the Orso class of submarine. Now, let's do some of the warships of the Polish River Flotillas, also known as the Polish Vestula Fleet. Now, Poland actually had two separate fleet. They had the Open Seas Fleet and the River Fleet. And the River Fleet actually consisted of Polish monitors and gunboats. And the first class of warship on this list is the Warsaw class of river monitors that were constructed in 1920. So here's a little bit of strange history between Poland and Germany. Now, during World War I, both Germany and the Austro-Hungarian Empire actually liberated Poland. And after World War I, and during the early stages of the Russian Civil War, Germany actually supplied weapons to Poland that included armored river monitors like these Wazorwa-class monitors. Now, the, the Warsawa class of monitors actually consisted of the monitors ORP Warsawa, Horodisk, Pinsk, and Truen. And these ships were all constructed in the Zinger, Germany by the German Navy and given to the newly formed state of Poland in 1920 in order to help them fight the Bolshevik invasion. Now, in 1919, in 1918-1919, the communist uprising in Russia had actually reached the Polish had actually reached the Polish border and what would later be known as the Polish Soviet War. So these were the monitors of the Warsaw class monitors. Now the Warsaw class were, was a class of armored river monitors from 1920. They had a displacement of 112 tons. Their main armament was two 105 millimeter M1914 slash 1919 howitzers. They were later fitted with two 75 millimeter Model 1930 howitzers later on in the 1930s. Their secondary armament was five 7.92 millimeter Maxim machine guns. They had an armor thickness of five to eight millimeters and they had a speed of 8.6 knots or 16 kilometers per hour and a crew of 44. Now the Wazawa class was one of two heavy class of river monitors to serve in the Polish Navy and the Polish River Navy. During the German invasion in 1939, these ships were also to fight the invading German land army. But later on, on September the 17th, 1939, the Soviet Union also invaded Poland and these ships also had to face the Soviet land army. And everything was actually going pretty well for these Polish monitors throughout the early stages of the invasion. But between the 17th and 18th during the Soviet invasion of Poland, the Polish monitors 
became trapped and their captains ordered them to be scuttled in the river Pripyat. They were later salvaged by the Soviet Navy between late September and early October 1939 and they later served in the Soviet Polish Navy in the occupied half and the Soviet occupied half of Poland that was until 1941. In 1941 Germany invaded the Soviet Union that included the Soviet half of Poland and during that invasion the Germans managed to capture these vessels also and they served in the German occupation navy in Poland until Germany was eventually kicked out of Poland in 1944. Later on these vessels were given back to Poland by the Soviet Union when the Russians pulled out of Poland but during the pullout the Russians managed to set up a puppet government and would later incorporate Poland into the Warsaw Pact nations. Now between the 1940s and 50s these ships were all decommissioned and sold for scrap. All of them were not scrapped, at least two or three of them were actually scuttled in the River Vistula and their wrecks can actually still be found to this day but that basically ends it for the Wazawa class river monitors from 1920. Which brings us to the next class of Polish river marine warship and that is the Kharkov class of armored river monitors that were constructed between 1924 and 1926. Now these were actually the first Polish built river monitors in the Polish Navy and they had a displacement of 112 tons just like the previous Wazawa class but their main armament was three 100 millimeter Wiz M1914-1919 howitzers. They were also armed with three 13.2 millimeter Hotchkiss M1929 anti-aircraft guns and three 7.92 millimeter Maxim machine guns. They had a armor thickness of between 5 and 10 millimeters and they had a speed of 7.3 knots and a crew of just 29 sailors. Now, the Kharkov class, as I mentioned, is the first class of 100% Polish made river monitors that were constructed for the Polish river navies and they actually served during the invasion of Poland in 1939. During the invasion of Poland in 1939, these ships actually served longer than the Wasawa class, serving from September 1st, 1939 up until September the 19th. On the 19th, of September 1939, the Polish Polish monitor Wilno was scuttled near the town of Orzowitz. And later on, on the 21st of September 1939, the flagship of the class, the Kharkov, was scuttled by her crew in the river Pina. During the same month that these ships were scuttled, in the same month of 1939, these two monitors were later salvaged by the Soviet Navy in November of 1939, and where they were renamed the Somets class of monitors and actually served in the Soviet occupation navy in Poland. Later in 1941, Germany invaded the Soviet half of Poland along with Russia as a whole during what was known as Operation Barbarossa and later captured these vessels from the Soviet navy. They were later used by the German occupation forces until 1944 where they were scuttled by the Germans. Now I don't know if these vessels were actually salvaged after World War II or not, but it seems that they probably weren't as the wrecks of these vessels actually still sit at the bottom of the river Vistula in Poland, thus ending the service of the Kharkov class monitor. Which brings us to another strange class of Polish warship and that is the Zuchwala class. Zuchwala class were two armored river motor gunboats that were constructed for the Polish Navy in the River Pinsk or the Pinsk Flotilla and they were named the Zezuela and Zawatia and these ships had a displacement of just 32 tons and they had a main armament of one 100 millimeter model 1914 1919 howitzer and one 37 millimeter Wes 85 Hotchkiss gun which was a Polish copy or improvement of the French SA-18 Putex gun that was used on the FT-17 tank that was also used in World War I. Now these vessels had an armor thickness of between 4 and 10 millimeters and they had a speed of 5.6 knots and a crew of 17. 
Now, during German slash Soviet invasion of World War II, both Zuchwila and Zawitia were scuttled by their crews on September the 19th, 1939, but Zawitia was actually salvaged by the Soviet Navy, and she served until 1941, where she was again destroyed, this time by the German Navy, or the German Luftwaffe, during Operation Barbarossa, which was the German invasion of the Soviet Union and the Soviet occupied territories of Poland, for example. And that basically ends the history of the Zechwila class gunboats. But there are some interesting Polish warships. You know, I actually like this one over the other ones um, just because they're rare, not really because they're designed or anything, but just because they're rare. Which brings me to the last class of heavily armored. Polish river gunboat, and that is the Zarodna class armored river motor gunboat from 1935. Now, this was actually an upgraded version of the Zuchwila class, but they both had a displacement of 32 tons. Their main armament was still one 100 millimeter M1914 slash M1919 howitzer, and this vessel was also armed with one 37 millimeter Wiz 85 Polish copy of the Pontex um, SA-18 gun, or improved version of the Pontex SA-18 gun designed, redesigned as a naval gun for naval warships. And this vessel also had a crew of 15. Now keep in mind the Zaratna was just one ship. It was one um, Polish river gunboat that was an upgrade to the Zuchwila class. Now, in September 1939, the Zaratna was actually scuttled by her crew on the same day as the Zuchwila on the 19th of September 1939, and she was later salvaged by the Soviet Navy and renamed Belarus, and she served in the Soviet Occupation Navy in Poland until she was either destroyed or captured by the Germans in 1941 during Operation Barbarossa. I can't find any more history on this vessel. I assume she was either scrapped by the Germans or she was probably sunk or destroyed a second time during the Soviet invasion of Poland in 1944 during the Second World War. But as of now, that is basically the end of the Zarada class of armored river marine gunboat that served in the Polish River Navy. Let's talk about some of the smaller gunboats in the Polish Navy. And let's start with the first class of small river gunboat to serve in the Polish Navy. And that is the KU-1 class, also known as the Lens class gunboat. And these were motor gunboats that were designed between 1916 and 1918. Originally, they were designed for the Austro-Hungarian Navy, but later they became part of the Polish Navy. And in 1920, these vessels were refurbished and upgraded with French and Polish weapons. And their main armament was one 37 millimeter Hotchkiss Huntex gun, which was the gun that was meant for the FT-17, but this version had no turret on it. It was just a gun itself on a little tripod or monopod. This vessel was also armed with two 7.92 millimeter Maxim MG-08 machine guns, and this vessel had an armor thickness of about four to 10 millimeters, and they had a speed of 15 to 20 knots and they had a crew of about four to six now these were actually several vessels these are several motor patrol gunboats that served in the polish river navy these are very tiny gunboats you know they were four to six man gunboats and during the invasion of poland they actually were used to try to slow down both the german and soviet invasion forces but eventually by the 19th of september most of of these vessels surrendered either to the Germans or to the Soviet Union, and they actually served in both the German and Soviet occupation navies of Poland. Now in 1941 again, Germany eventually kicked the Russians out of occupied Poland, and these vessels served with the German occupation navy until 1944, where Germany was basically kicked out of Poland by the Soviet Red Army's invasion of Poland in 1944. After World War II, these vessels were eventually either scrapped or disarmed and reused as civilian fishing vessels. And that, that basically ends the KU-1 lens class of small motor gunboats. The lens class actually spun off a bunch of 
other unique river gunboats and one of those was the KU-25 lens class and this was actually a Polish built copy or upgrade to the lens 1 class and these vessels were constructed between 1920 and 1924 and there were several at least a dozen of these vessels in total and they were basically the same as the previous vessels they had the same weapons and they had the only difference is they had a upgraded armor or a downgraded armor of between 4 to 8 millimeters and they had a speed of nearly 25 knots but they still had a crew of four to six and just like the previous KU-1 lens class they also served during the invasion of Poland and during the invasion of Poland most of them were surrendered but some of them were actually sunk also and you can actually find the wrecks of some of these vessels at the bottom of the pins after World War II, these vessels were eventually either scrapped or disarmed and reused as civilian fishing vessels. Another class of warship that was based off the KU-1 class was the LKU-16-25 class and these were armored motor gunboats that were built between 1932 and 1933 and they had a displacement of 12 tons and they had a main armament of one 37 millimeter Pultex SA-18 guns along with one 7.92 millimeter Maxim MG-08 machine gun. Now these vessels actually used the turrets from the both the FT-17 tanks, but they also used the turrets from the Polish Wiz-28 armored car, which was an armored car that was used by the Polish Land Army. Now the Poles actually fielded a variety of those armored cars along with a half-track offshoot, but the Poles didn't really like those vehicles that much, so they didn't make enough of them, but they had plenty of leftover turrets from these vehicles that were meant to be put into production. So these turrets, along with these unused chassis, were actually fused to armored boats and later were converted into armored motor gunboats between 1932 and 1933. Now these vehicles had a armored thickness, or these boats had a armored thickness of six to 10 millimeters, and they had a slow speed of just 11 kilometers per hour. And they also had a crew of four to six. And during the invasion of Poland, in, in September 1939, these vessels also tried to defend Poland against both the German and Soviet invasion forces. Eventually, all of these vessels ended up in German hands as the Soviet Union was eventually pushed out in 1941. In 1944, the Soviet Union invaded occupied Poland, which was occupied by the Germans, and many of these vessels were later destroyed or, or scuttled by the Germans, the retreating German army. Some of these vessels were salvaged by the newly formed Polish Soviet government after World War II, but most of them were stripped down and were put into use as civilian vessels, thus ending the LKU-16-25 class of armored motor gunboats of the Polish River Navy. Which brings us to another strange class of Polish warship, and that were the auxiliary river gunboats that were used by the of the Polish River Navy. So let's go over some of these auxiliary gunboats. And the first one of these is the ORP General Zemskitsky, which was an auxiliary gunboat that was constructed in 1930. This vessel had a displacement of 163 tons. Her main armament was two 75 millimeter Wiz 35 field guns. And she also had one 7.92 millimeter Maxim MG-08 machine gun. Her armored thickness was four to eight millimeters and she had a speed of 11.5 knots or 21 kilometers per hour or 12 miles per hour. Her crew was between 16 and 18 and she also served in the Polish Navy during the invasion of Poland in 1939 being one of the largest if not the largest auxiliary gunboat in the Polish Navy. And during the invasion of Poland in September 1939 this vessel was either sunk or scuttled by her Polish crew were sunk by the German Luftwaffe as she was eventually found burning by the invading German army. Later on after World War II, I assume her wreck was probably raised and scrapped as I can't find any more information on this ship. 
post-1939. Another Polish gunboat was the ORP Hetman Chodskiewicz. The Chodskiewicz was another auxiliary gunboat that was constructed originally in 1916 but for the Austro-Hungarian Navy, but later on she was given to Poland following World War I, when she was later commissioned. Her displacement was 114 tons. She had a main armament of two 75 millimeter Wiz 35 field guns, she had one 7.92 millimeter Maxim MGO-8 machine gun, and she also had an armor thickness of between four to eight millimeters and a speed of 11.5 knots, and also a crew of 16 to 18 sailors. Just like the previous gunboat, she also served during the invasion of Poland in 1939, where she was later scuttled by the Polish Navy. Now, her wreck was never raised by the Germans, as she was already an obsolete vessel, and that basically ends the history of the ORP Hatsman gunboat. And the final of these improvised river gunboats was the ORP Panakri the first or Panakri one and this was a armored gunboat from 1933 1934 1936 and she had a displacement of just 38.5 tons and her main armament was just one 40 millimeters Vickers L39 anti-aircraft gun and one 7.92 millimeter Maxim machine gun. So this vessel was basically an auxiliary anti-aircraft gunboat. She also had a armor thickness of between four and eight millimeters and a speed of 11.5 knots and a crew of 16 to 18 crewmen. And during the invasion of Poland and, and during the invasion of Poland in 1939, she also also attempted to stop the invasion of the German army by defending the Polish River Navy from the Luftwaffe. But unfortunately, she too was either scuttled or sunk by either her Polish crew or by the German Luftwaffe. And that's basically the end of this warship. Now, the Polish Navy also had a second flotilla known as the Vestula Flotilla or Flotilla Vestula. And this was an even smaller flotilla that operated in the Vestula River. So let's go over some of those warships from the Pensk Flotilla. The first warship of the Pensk Flotilla was the ORP Nuchwinski. The Nuchwinski was an armored river gunboat that was that was constructed between 1934 and 1936. Her main armament was one 40 millimeter Vickers L39 anti-aircraft gun, and she was also fitted with one 7.92 millimeter Maxim machine gun. Her armor thickness was also between four to eight millimeters, and she had a crew of between 16 and 18. And this vessel was actually constructed by the Poles, and her, her displacement was also 38.5 tons, making her the smallest flagship in the Polish Navy, but she was also the flagship of the Polish Pinsk Flotilla. The ORP Nuchwinski also served in the Polish Navy during the German slash Soviet invasion of Poland in September 1939. During that time period, she was actually used as an anti-aircraft vessel, first against the German Luftwaffe, but later against the Soviet Navy. Later on, she was captured by the Soviet Navy in 1939, in September 1939, and later served in the Soviet Occupation Navy until 1941, where Germany pushed the Soviets out of Poland. And then she served as a warship and the German occupation forces in Poland and until 1944 where the Soviet Union eventually pushed the Germans out of Poland. She actually served in the newly formed Polish Soviet Navy during the Cold War, but it is unknown where she when she was eventually decommissioned. But when she was decommissioned, she was eventually scuttled in the Pestula River, and her wreck actually still exists in the shallow area of the river to this very day, thus ending the history of the flagship. ORP Nuchwenshi. A another small class or another tiny class of Polish warship and that is the KU-6 and KU-7 class. These were actually small heavily armored gunboats. They were basically the small gunboats you saw earlier from the KU-1 and KU-25 class but these were even more upgraded and completely modified. In fact these are basically a completely different type of warship. These were basically mini monitors or mini 
armored river gunboats or motor gunboats that served in the Polish flotilla. And these vehicles, these vessels were constructed between 1931 and 1932. And their displacement was 13.5 tons. They had a main armament of just one 7.92 millimeter Maxim MGO-8 machine gun. And they had an armor thickness of between six and 12 millimeters. Their speed was 12 kilometers or six miles per hour. And they had a crew of five to seven. Now these vessels actually served as Polish Navy during the both the German and Soviet invasion of Poland in September 1939. And they were mostly captured by the invading Soviet army where they were pressed into service and served in the, the Soviet Navy. But unlike the other ships, many of these vessels were actually sent to the Dnieper fleet, which was the larger Soviet river flotilla that was adjacent to Poland. And some of these ships were captured by the Germans in 1941 during Operation Barbarossa, but many of them also survived and retreated with the Russian army as the Russian army retreated from the invading German army between 1941 and early 1943. Later on in 1944, Germany was defeated in Poland and these vessels were given back to Poland where they served in the Polish Soviet Navy until at least 1950 where they were eventually disarmed, dismantled and their hulls were sold into civilian service as fishing vessels. Brings us to the class of Polish river gunboat and that is the KM-12 slash KM-15 class of armored river gunboats constructed sometime in the 1930s and these vessels were armed with one or two 7.92 millimeter machine guns but some sources state that they were also armed with one 13.2 millimeter Hotchkiss M1929 anti-aircraft machine gun and these were just two vessels that served in the Polish Navy their armor thickness was between four and eight millimeters and they had a speed of roughly 30 knots and a crew of between four and six these vessels also served during the German invasion of Poland in 1939 slash Soviet invasion of Poland from September the 17th, 1939. They actually served alongside the Polish gunboat ORP Notwitchy, which was the flagship of the Pence Flotilla as her escort ships. These vessels were eventually captured by the Germans, strangely enough, by the Soviets first and then later by the Germans and they served in the German occupation navy of Poland post-1941 until Germany was eventually defeated in 1944 and these vessels were returned to Poland where they served for a little bit in the Polish-Soviet navy but ultimately during the Cold War they were decommissioned and sold into civilian service as fishing vessels. Which brings us to the final class of Polish river gunboat. And this is actually the most advanced one on the list. And that is the KU-30 class, which were fast attack motor gunboats that were constructed in 1938, just one year before World War II. Now, actually, this was just a single vessel, the KU-30. And the KU-30 was a fast attack gunboat that was armed with anti-aircraft weapons. And its displacement was just a mere nine tons. This vessel was armed with one twin 13.2 millimeter Hotchkiss M1929 machine gun or anti-aircraft machine gun. And she was also fitted with one 7.92 millimeter Maxim MG-08 machine gun. Her armor thickness was between five and 10 millimeters and she had a speed of 46 kilometers per hour, making her the fastest vessel in the Polish River Navy. And she also had a crew of four. Now during the invasion of Poland, she actually served as a fast anti-aircraft vessel, raking German Luftwaffe aircraft as they passed over the river. She also attacked Soviet military aircraft when the Soviet Union also invaded. Later on, she was scuttled by her crew, but later on in 1941, this was after the Soviets were kicked out during Operation Barbarossa, she was actually salvaged by the occupying German forces and pressed into service with the German occupation navy until 1944, where the Soviet Union invaded occupied Poland and kicked the Germans and their Axis allies out of Poland, thus ending the service of this vessel. 
She was later salvaged again after being scuttled by the Germans after World War II, and it's basically a mystery as to what happened to her. I've heard some sources state that she was sold into a civilian service as a fishing vessel, and some, some sources state that she was scrapped directly after World War II. But whatever happened to her, that was basically the end of the KU-30. And that's basically the end of this video. These were the rare vessels that served in the Polish Navy in the Second World War. These were the vessels that served in the Polish Navy in World War II and made up the backbone of the Polish Navy during the German and Soviet invasion of Poland in September 1939. So which were your favorite vessels? My favorite of these vessels, if I had to pick three classes, I would say the ORP Griff, the mine layer, just because it's so rare and I rarely hear about it. The Kharkov class monitor, because that's my favorite of the Polish um, River Marine warships. And it's kind of a draw between the KU-30 fast attack armored motor gunboat and the LKU-16-25 class of armored patrol gunboat or armored motor gunboat that came earlier. So I'm kind of stuck on those two for the third pick. But whichever ones, which are your favorite of these Polish warships? Please tell me in the comment section below. And until next time, this was J-Man Time. And if you want, you can support me on Patreon. Until next time, this was J-Man Time, signing off.